It's hard not to fall in love with an animal like this. But you may be able to spot what's wrong with this picture. Over the last few uh, week or so, we had nine baby fawns brought into the Colorado Springs office in 11 days. Clearly, this isn't Bambi's natural habitat, and it's all part of an issue that continues to grow. That may sound like it's an isolated incident, just, you know, Colorado Springs has got an issue, but it really is not the case. This happens across the state of Colorado. Mike Porras of Colorado Parks and Wildlife says people's good nature isn't necessarily good for nature. They meant well, but by picking it up and bringing it into the office, it really did cause that animal a lot more harm than if they had left it alone. CPW has been taking calls and receiving visits from people wanting to help baby animals they think have been abandoned. If they are around people, they become uh, imprinted on, on humans, and it makes it very difficult to let them go out into the wild, uh, again, as is the goal. So if you see an abandoned fawn, what are your options? Well, the answer is simple. You see a fawn curled up in the grass and it's quiet, it's still, it acts like a statue. That's normal. That's perfectly normal. If you have not seen a, a doe that's been hit by a car, and so you know that that could be an orphan, then that mother is still around, and, and you need to stay away. Only get help if the animal looks sick or it's starving. And if you help it when it's not like that, the results may not turn out like you intended. In too many cases, it ends up uh, with the animal having to be put down. So as the relationship between man and nature becomes more complex, the simple act of leaving wildlife alone is just more natural. Nature has been surviving on its own without human help for eons.